enjoy. Walking my peacock. Yep, we're just gonna walk along with the peacock. The peacock's like, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. Get ready for a story of bravery, determination, and a touch of crazy. Welcome to the sequel of the Great Siberian Sushi Run, made famous by three Nordhavens in 2009. Our three-step plan is to follow in their footsteps, but this time in a 1969 aluminum trawler. Step one was to get an affordable boat, which meant a fixer-upper. Tangaro was built in 1969, and when we got her, she was in rough shape, which meant she needed a massive refit before our attempt to sail her to Japan. Step two is underway, fixing her up, and step three starts the summer of 2025. Our journey from Victoria to Alaska to Siberia and Japan will be off the beaten track. There will be bad weather, tricky waters, and things we can't predict. And we're sharing it all on camera. The good, the bad, and the downright ugly. Subscribe, as it's going to be a wild ride. It is time to start lifting because it's going to take a while. So uh, let's go do it. Oh, I better open this for the dog. Come on, Maggie. She would not be happy if I didn't leave the door open for her. Got my tea. Got 300 feet of chain. Let's get the snubber off. <laughs> Okay, we might have a problem. Oh, shite. Nothing's easy. Uh, might have to get blamed for this. Uh, let's see if I can pull it. You guys see the snubber is all tangled? Okay. Oh, I did it. Oh, reaching. Okay. Okay, snubber's off. something maybe some pastries would be good who knows bye bye massacre bay hey maggie let's go in bye bye massacre bay this is west san marina that we're going to go visit we're just going to go anchor outside of there and take the dinghies on shore and see what we can find it's like an exploratory adventure. And we really wrenched on that windlass last night to make sure the anchor would come up for the chain. And I said, I'm like, I'm going to need you to break it free. I can't break free the wheel. Break wheel? Is that what it's called? The clutch. The clutch. He's like, I already did it. He's so good. Okay. 
Where are we going? Uh, just to clear this crap trap here. And uh, we're basically going to drop right next to them here. Okay. Blaine's gonna stay on the boat or not. Would suck to lose our home on that shore. I know you're very excited. <laughs> See the top of it sticking out. Really? Yep. Oh, well, that sucks. Come here. The race fleet over there. The race fleet. Can't remember what those bullets are called. You see what I'm talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Look at that boat. Inconceivable. And he's getting on us. Inconceivable. This, this is, is a female. The male, the male is just down the Hi. I have a peacock looking at me. Yeah, but hello, look. It's a peacock. The big male? Yeah, there's two of them actually. 
I used to have the Moreau Roads. A female. Just walking my peacock. Yep, we're just gonna walk along with the peacock. Peacock's like, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. Kathmandu, 9,681 miles down. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so Orcas Island used to be a huge fruit bearing island. Um, lots of fruit farmers and you can see all the old fruit orchards, which is really kind of cool. Nice stock. Yeah. It is quite an erection. Really? <laughs> I like think it? I'm leaving that one alone. Like <laughs> <laughs> Set is closed for the season. What are you guys doing down there? Now it's on the roof. I'm gonna go down and look and pay respects to mom and dad, but it's just no trespassing, but it's absolutely beautiful. I bet in the summertime it's gorgeous down here. See all the old fruit pickers and stuff. That's a sower. Like to make holes for seeds. And plow. Here's a tender we need, Blaine. Blaine! <laughs> Blaine won't let me keep the free crab traps even though I lost mine. Hey, we're going to Put put our way back around the shore. Blaine's like, no, we're not. Yes, we are. Yeah, we just walked the shore. Why do we need to put put around it? I want to see the marina boats. I love marina boats. That is quite the boat. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Look at all the solar panels up top. Looks like a uh, converted boat of some sort. Yeah, I'd say it's a converted fishing boat. A big crane in the middle. Yeah. I don't think it's an Ornhaven, you're right. Big heavy duty chain. Uh, it's not an Ornhaven because I'm pretty sure they don't build them in steel. We love looking at boats and marinas. Like, there's just such cool boats. And you get lots of ideas for Tangaroa from looking at boats and marinas on what they do. That's a cool boat, too. Christmas lights! 
Nutka boat. The Nutka Rose. She's gonna need some love. She looks like she burnt. No, maybe it's just paint falling off. Wow. You sure? She looks like she burnt. Look at. Endeavor, the mothership. Okay. Off to Roche. What? That was really loud. That was very enthusiastic, off to Roche. Off to Roche. We're just looking at this trimaran. It's got a hugely thick mast. Looks like it's fast. It'd be fun to sail, but we're not sure why the mast is so thick. And it's deck step mast. Crazy. Looks like it's uh, almost like a wing foil on the mast. Almost like a wing foil. The mast rotates. There's a pulley at the bottom of it to move it. Okay, that's cool. So that's like the leading edge of the sail coming in. That's cool. Rotating mast. As we pull anchor, I'm gonna drive. And Blaine's gonna make us some yummy breakfast sandwiches. That was awfully presumptuous of you. Blaine, can you please make us some breakfast sandwiches? Sure, I can make breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> They're so yummy. There's Tanga. We got so many waves right now, we could just let the tender back now. Bye bye, tender. Okay, anchor time. Up and down and all around with this anchor. Here you go, Meg. Engine time. Okay, I'm gonna start hauling. Starting to haul. Autopilot, I go. Woo, 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 woo. 